Millions of Americans wake up each day and enjoy a cup of coffee, but you may be getting more than just caffeine. How about a splash of bacteria with your cup of joe? We analyzed some popular coffee, maker, coffee makers to see what's brewing. No filters, no grounds, just a cake cup and you have a cup of joe. But are these convenient coffee makers brewing up more than you want in a morning cup of coffee? I'm nervous to find out what is inside there. Amanda Bush loves her coffee maker, but she doesn't necessarily want to know what's growing in it, but we do. We swapped her machine along with eight other one cup machines, Ew. testing the water tank, the spot where you put the K cup, the spout, and the tray. And we sent off all the samples to Microbac Laboratory. In the end, more than half of our machines came back with bacteria counts in the millions. We went back to Amanda with the results. 4.6 million colonies of bacteria, and you had the highest mold count of all the machines. Oh, the highest mold count. I know, that makes me cry too. Our sister stations in Dallas and Chicago also tested coffee machines, 20 in all, with similar results. The machines came back with E. coli, Staphylococcus, Streptococcus, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a whole bunch of stuff that you don't want to hear about when it comes to a hot cup of coffee. I thought you would find something. I didn't think you would find something that could really make us sick. To prevent getting sick, there are simple things that you can do. Clean your machine regularly, run vinegar through it, use filtered water rather than tap water, change the water after each use, leave the lid off to allow the machine to air out, wipe it down daily. Amanda Bush says she will be doing just that. At least it's my own mode and not somewhere else like the gas station or Starbucks. The makers of Keurig say if the machine is not used for several days, you should run several cleansing brews to remove any internal standing water.